Hey guys, Justice Egan here. I want to take a minute and thank you so much for stopping by to check out this video. If you like the call and the training you hear here today, make sure to connect with me on social media. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll see a button popping up over the video right about now. And make sure to grab my five-day free video marketing training at www.mastermarketersuniversity.com. I'll leave a link below the video. Enjoy the training. Good morning, Dean. Can you hear me? We are we are coming down home stretch here, huh? Final Wednesday webinar of the of the uh, year coming up. That's amazing. I know it. Isn't that crazy? It is absolutely oh, crazy. Man. That's it. That's it. Awesome. Well, I'm gonna. Uh, I've got a lot of great stuff. Uh, pretty fired up. We're going to talk a little bit about the time of year it is and the holidays, and, and, and we're going to get people uh, rocking and rolling today to, to, to close out the week. So, awesome, awesome. Guys, uh, first of all, big thank you to Dean. Uh, you know, what an incredible asset in this community. Uh, huge leader, guys. If you're not connected with that guy or you don't know him, if you're new to the community, uh, Dean is like a. a I, I mean, he is a, a cornerstone of, of what happens here at MLSP and what MLSP is all about. Uh, and I just uh, love jumping on these calls. You know, I love getting out there and talking to the community as Dean does as well. You know, guys, um, if you're here for the first time, wonderful, welcome. Uh, you're going to get a little taste today of, of what we're all about here at MLSP. Uh, this morning wake-up call is a huge huge uh, opportunity for you to to tap into one of the resources, get your day started right. Uh, just a little, little piece of what we do here, though. Um, you know, some of you may know my story, some may not. You know, I found MLSP, uh, it's, it's over two years ago now, and it took me a little while. You know, I was really struggling in my business, and recently I was thinking back to about this time uh, two years ago. You know, I was in MLSP, I really, uh, I think I had signed up one person in the MLSP and one, per uh, in about 10 months I had signed up one person in my network marketing company and in November I had signed up my first person in the MLSP and I think they quit like one or two days later and, you know, there were times I felt like, hey, I'm, I'm just on the verge of breaking through and, and then, then December came around and it was a really, really tough month for me. This was December two years ago, you know, and, and I was... I was just thinking about this the last couple of days and, and, you know, the holidays got me down. The holidays can create a lot of emotion, guys. You know, some, sometimes we look at it as a, a joyous time, you know, time to spend with family and, and a lot of people get caught up in other stuff, you know, stress and financial stress and, and uh, you know, lack of time and all these different things. And so, you know, for me, I was letting this period of time get the better of me. And, you know, this was the only time I ever really thought about quitting. So if you're sitting there thinking about quitting, okay, if you're sitting there frustrated, whatever the case may be, I want you to think, okay, I want you to understand that, that this was my lowest point. And the fact that I picked myself up, dusted myself off, and got back on the horse has me on this call here with you today, <clears throat> has me living a completely different life than I was two years ago. So, you know, I started thinking about that and how I was that year and how I was, you know, at, at my my parents' house, uh, you know, when I visited my family at the holidays. And, you know, a lot of people are always supportive, you know, that they, they, they'll, they'll tell you, listen, uh, times are tough. If you're having tough times, I mean, I don't want to assume that for you, but I know I was. You know, uh, things will get better and, and everybody sees you in a certain light, right? You know, time, times were tough for me and, and people would say, you know, they were supportive, but they knew it, right? That's what I was carrying. I was carrying, I was, I was exuding the, the fact that for me, I was having struggles, right? It, I was wearing it. You know, so this got me thinking, right? It got me thinking to reminiscing about the holidays, reminiscing about what I remembered about the family, you know, about getting together with the family, about all the different years growing up. You know, and, and it got me thinking about something that I found really fascinating. That's what I'm going to share with you here today. And we're, we're going to go a little deep here today, guys. And I'm going to ask you to do some big thinking here and ask yourself some tough questions. But before I do, I want to kind of walk you through. I want you to reminisce with me. You know, I stopped and I realized something. When I, when I think back on the holidays, I, I don't really remember the gift I got on a certain year. I don't remember, uh, you know, the meal that was cooked. And this is kind of what everybody gets wrapped up in, right? This is what all the stress is about when people get, you know, when people 
get that 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 anxiety in the holidays. It's gift giving and and buying and and it's it's how to get the meals together and how to get the family over the house and you know all the stuff that comes along with that. If if you know if this kind if this time of year makes things tough for you in a certain way, you know. And I don't really remember that stuff when I reflect on the holidays. I remember the people. You know, I remember my relatives. And I want you to think back and I want you to think of the people that, that, that you know, you, you saw at holidays that maybe aren't with us anymore. You know, the grandparents, the great grandparents, the great uncles, maybe the parents, maybe siblings. I mean, you know, this is life. And I want you to think about how you viewed them, what you remember about them. Okay, what is it that, that, that you remember? You know, because sometimes we remember people, guys, based on their circumstances, their hardships, right? We always had that person in our family couldn't catch a break. We had the people that was always unhappy, right, in a bad mood, right? Sometimes we had people that were funny. We had, or we have that relative that, that just got too drunk every holiday, right? I mean, this, this is reality, guys. I mean, this is how we remember people. Then I want you to think, sometimes it was always that person or those people that you remember. You looked at them growing up like they were superheroes. They could do no wrong, right? Maybe they were successful. Maybe they were just well-liked in the community. What was it about them, right? So as you think back, think about the different people. Think how you remember them. You don't remember them based on what gift they gave you guys. You don't remember them based on one single holiday, you remember them based on, on how you perceive them, the, the impact they had on you, the way they resonated. Okay? So now, I want you to ask yourself a tough question. And this is a really tough question, guys. How are people going to remember you? More importantly, how do you want people to remember you? What's going to be your legacy? What's going to be your significance? Why do you matter? 50 Christmases from now, when somebody who's young now is thinking about you, why did you matter? What did they remember about you? Guys, I know that's a tough question. And this is something I've been thinking about. And that's why I want to share it here with you today. I want you to know, no matter how tough things have been for you, maybe you want to start this business to solve a problem. Maybe things are great for you. There's always something to be grateful for, guys. But I mean, if you're, if you're having a tough time, if things are going slow in your business right now, if, if maybe things aren't the way you want in your job or your life, I want you to remember something, okay? You don't leave an imprint. You don't matter. You don't leave that, that feeling of significance, okay? By having people understand what your problems are, okay? By giving your problems strength. More importantly, you're not going to leave a family legacy, let alone a, a bigger legacy, a global legacy, a legacy outside of the people you know now. By helping people understand why you can't. Do you guys get that? Why you haven't yet. Why you give yourself permission to, to as, as, as Rob Ford, I love when he says this. When his wife asked him, when did you start giving yourself permission to be less than? Okay, two years ago, guys, when I almost quit, I was being less than. I was walking around feeling sorry for myself. The holidays were tough for me. And people knew it. That's what they saw. Guys, we don't leave a legacy walking around like that. You know, I, I, I want you guys to, to, to realize something. I mean, we just celebrated, uh, or we're in the process of, of, of you know, celebrating the life of, of, of a guy, uh, Nelson Mandela, you've seen it everywhere, right? I mean, what an incredible impact this man had. And everybody out there knows who he is, what his impact was, and they're mourning, they're mourning the loss, or better yet, celebrating his life. I want you to realize, guys, that that's one human being that had that kind of impact. Now, I know this is, this is a, a, a very extreme comparison, but how can one human being have that kind of impact? Yet some of us will let our sister-in-law, one thing our sister-in-law said this holiday season, ruin our entire day. Think about the hardships other people are out there going through and how they've affected the world. And I want you to think about the little things that we're going to let bother us this holiday season. Guys, I'm going to tell you something. A change needs to happen here, okay? If you're not getting the results you want, you've got to stop. 
You've got to think about what you're doing, who you're being, and I want you to think about what impact you want to have and how you want to be remembered. I know that the way I was the holiday season two years ago is not how I wanted to be remembered. Okay? I, I was thinking about it. I mean, I've been thinking about it the last couple of days. What, it, what a change that I've had to make and what changes I still have to make. You know, my, my friend and, and mastermind partner, Adam Chandler, did a webinar on Wednesday. And if you haven't watched it, I recommend you go back and watch it in your, in your training library. Okay, he talked about the things you need to do to set yourself up for success in 2014, starting right now. Guys, I'm going to challenge you. Okay, I'm going to challenge you, not only to watch that webinar, but to start right now, not on the first. Start becoming the person that you want people to remember. Start becoming the person that you want people to celebrate. Start becoming the person that you want people to say, man, that's the guy. I want to be more, that's the girl. I want to be more like, I want to be more like them. I look up to them. They've had an impact. They're leaving a legacy. I remember them for all these good things. Because it's not going to be for the gift you give, guys. Or the casserole you bring. Okay? The bottom line is, guys, I want to challenge you not to be consumed by the tough things. Don't be consumed by the holiday stress. Don't participate, okay, in, in family squabbles or any of these things. Because I've done it, and that's why I'm talking about it, guys. I want you to shy away from the gossip at the company holiday party or, or not get frustrated when you can't get a parking spot at the mall or when some cashier is moving slow. Start right now, guys, being consumed by your vision, by who you want to become this year, next year, and beyond. Be consumed by the legacy that you want to create. Guys, I know that that's a big challenge. But, but we weren't sit, we weren't we're not on this planet to sit here and, and, and get caught up in those little things. We're not on this planet to live unhappily in some cubicle. We're not on this planet just to give someone a gift on the holiday, guys. We're on this planet to impact them, to be remembered, to ha to, to, to make a difference. Now, I want to ask you, thinking about that, how are you going to respond this holiday season when someone asks you what you're up to? How's work? How's business? Are you going to be proud of what you do? Are you going to walk tall? How are you going to convey yourself? Are you going to be confident about what you're doing here, guys? That's the challenge I'm putting on you. Become bigger. Become better. Be proud of what we do here, guys. Because that's what we do. You're going to impact people through this industry. If you... Push yourself to success. You're going to impact people you don't even know yet. You're going to leave a legacy. You're going to have people thinking about you on the holidays that you've never met. So stop thinking small. Forget about the little daily stuff. Stop getting wrapped up in the challenges. Okay, if you're feeling sorry for yourself, if you're feeling overwhelmed, it's time to step up, guys. I want you to think right now, when people look back, when people think about me, when family members think back on the holidays, how are they going to remember me? Am I going to be someone that was smart, that was confident, that was successful, driven, generous, caring? Or am I going to be that guy that wasn't bigger than his problems? Am I going to be that girl that was consumed by, you know, the challenges she had faced? This is important, guys. I know it's a little bit of an out there subject today. I know we're not talking leads and sales and MLSP and internet marketing and network marketing. We're talking about who you're going to become, how you're going to be remembered. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to put something out there that I want you, that, that, that I know for some of you this is going to be tough to hear. But if people aren't saying those things about you, Okay, if people if people don't feel like like you're moving forward with vision, like you're going somewhere, like you have other people's interest in mind, like you're going to leave an impact or leave a legacy, have an impact. 
If people aren't feeling that way about you, do you think they're going to be attracted to you online? Do you think they're going to follow you? Do you think they're going to want to join you in your business? So this is a tall order here, guys. This is a big challenge. For some of you who are new, okay, who are in this business and you're still in that mindset, you're still in that place where you're going, I'm doing this to pay my bills. This is going to be a tough, this is a big challenge, this call for you. Okay, because it's bigger than that. If you're doing this just to pay your bills, the people at the holidays this year, they're going to remember you as the person who barely paid their bills. <laughs> That's the truth. I know it's a tough pill to swallow. You gotta, you want them to see you differently. We have to become bigger, better people, guys. If you can't do it, if, pe if, if people cannot see you this way on a local family level, people online, people elsewhere, people you haven't met yet, they are, how are they going to be attracted to you and follow you? It is going to be about who you become, guys. That's what the name of this game is. It starts with you. It's not about how people are seeing you, how they're judging you. If you mention your home business at the holidays and somebody's rolling their eyes, it's not because of the way they see you that you're struggling. It's because of the way you're presenting yourself. It's because of the vision you have. And if they don't see it and you're committed to it, who cares? Guys, I'm going to tell you something. The best lead capture page, the best blog header, the fanciest copy isn't going to fool people online. It's no different than you wearing a brand new suit to the holiday party. Your mother-in-law still sees you the exact same way. It's who you are, guys. It's who you become. It's what mission you're on. It's what legacy you want to leave. I want you to think hard about this, guys. And this is not something you flip a switch on. This is going to be from now until the end of time. But this isn't something you start on January 1st. It's not something for next week. Right now, we've all got to make the commitment to taking steps towards building a bigger legacy, just taking steps towards being the person we want to be remembered as. Let's become somebody that's going to be celebrated. Guys, I want to see you over in the My Lead System Pro Group. I want to see how fired up you are. Let's get over there and engage a little bit. Let's get connected if, uh, if you're new to the community. Hope you enjoyed the, the call. I think I'm on one more time before the holidays. Have a wonderful holiday, guys. Okay, get, get consumed by all the right things. As we finish out this month, guys, as we move into the next year, get consumed by all the right things. Enjoy your family for who they are, guys. Enjoy, enjoy your business as a challenge, even if you're struggling. Step up to the challenge. Guys, there is so much opportunity here in this industry for you to change your lives and change the lives of others. Okay, but it starts with you. I'll see you over in the MLSP group.